Hello, welcome to Normal Game Couch. Today I'm playing Nova 2001. Uh, this is a uh, game that has been released on uh, the Japanese uh, PlayStation Network Store. Uh, it is not available in uh, America or other regions. Um, uh, this is one of the uh, uh, Arcade Archive uh, series games that's currently being released digitally in Japan by Hamster. Um, they are responsible for uh, porting Rygar uh, to the uh, PS4, uh, which did uh, recently see a uh, release in the States, uh, but that's probably not going to happen with all of the Arcade Archive games. Uh, Rygar does carry a bit of weight in the States. Nova 2001 does not. Uh, this was an arcade game. I don't even think it came out uh, in the States. I, I couldn't find any, uh, any uh, records on the internet of this game uh, being released in, in uh, American or European arcades. Uh, so this does seem to be a Japanese-only game. However, uh, the menus are in English. But a lot of uh, Japanese uh, games, uh, arcade games back in the day, back in the uh, early and mid 80s, uh, were uh, released in English, uh, presumably because uh, they had intentions to distribute uh, to uh, the states, which at the time may have been considered a, a larger market, and it's easier to not have to localize a game like this, especially an arcade game that would be very difficult to uh, to localize so uh, let's go ahead and start this out uh, I, I'm not too good at this game I've only played it once for about 15 minutes but consider this your giant bomb style quick look that was I can credit feed this game it's not gonna do much because it doesn't have uh, Replay. Uh, you can access the dip switch settings. Uh, this one? Yeah, this is the dip switch settings here. Um, I'm go ahead and give myself an extra life. Uh, these are when you get um, additional uh, lives. Uh, let's see, that's the difficulty. Like I said, I'm not very good at it, so we'll keep it at difficulty one. And I'm not sure what this is. Uh, this is not the free play option, though. Um, but yeah, speaking of Giant Bomb, uh, Jeff Gersman, uh, did, uh, a, f a few of the, um, uh, Arcade Archives game on a quick look, uh, like last month, I think it was. And I'm very impressed. I continue to be very impressed by, uh, uh, Jeff Gersman and, and his website. And, uh, I have a long history with, uh, with, uh, kind of you know, fanboying uh, that website, and I, I think Jeff Gersman is a stand-up individual, and uh, uh, he, he kind of reaches um, into the, uh, uh, the ob obscure corners of um, the, uh, the gaming, uh, you know, gaming cult, cool because, like, You don't see this stuff covered uh, anywhere else. So, hats off to Jeff Gersman. Uh, so, that's this is the uh, the attract mode here. I'm letting it play for a little bit just so you can see, you know, some of the graphics and and whatnot. Um, so you can see that there's different uh, uh, pickups that have uh, points values associated with them. Um, so yeah, I'm. You see my name up at the top there. Um, I say I'm not very good, but you know, this is one of these arcade games that doesn't have like the. It's really easy to get on the board. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to be good to get on the board. Um, I notice in the attract mode, this guy's moving backwards and shooting forwards, Robotron style. I didn't know you could do that. I'm going to want to try to figure that out. I don't know how he's doing that. Um, that is not something that I 
was able to do before. And I don't know what happened to my credit feed, but we'll go ahead and stick more credits in it. I want to figure out... Hmm. Ah, there we go. Alright, I gotcha, I think. This is going to be tricky, but... Yeah. Good thing I watched the attract mode. I now know how to uh, keep my position static. It's 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 a bit unwieldy though. It doesn't uh, it it doesn't feel very good. Mm. I think it will make this game a bit. Um, more manageable though. And this guy comes out. This guy's rough. I don't think I've killed this guy yet. He's killed me a bunch though. There we go. That's what happens when you can face one direction and shoot another direction. So this game is kind of very Robotron-esque. It's kind of like a robo, like a space Robotron. Uh, as if Robotron wasn't in space anyway, but you know what I'm saying. It's like a, like a Gradius meets Robotron. Which is pretty cool, when you think about it. Oh, I definitely want to kill that guy. Yeah, I'm kind of getting used to the controls here. It's a bit unwieldy, but it'd be a lot easier if I had a uh, proper arcade stick. But this isn't too bad, man. I definitely should get an arcade stick for the PS4, though. So this is kind of a bonus stage. You can still die. Usually in games like this, you can't die in the bonus stages. You can totally die in this uh, bonus stage. But this is a... Uh, the reason this, this is considered a bonus stage is because uh, it has a lot of easy-to-kill enemies that run in a very um, uh, predictable pattern. So... It's usually pretty easy to take them out. Uh, this is not going well. They're kind of boxing me in here. Um, I think you can move infinitely in any direction. But the problem with that is the, uh, the enemies will catch up to you if you keep going the same direction. So it, you might be thinking, oh, well, it's just, you know, it's easy to run away if you find yourself in a spot. But you see this guy, he's moving faster than me, so... That won't, uh, that won't necessarily work. You do have to... Ah! You do have to run away to survive. Graphically, it's a, it's a really nice looking game. Especially for 1983. Um, I found a lot of sites saying that this was released in 1984, but um, uh, this uh, digital release says that it came out in 1983, and I'm apt to believe the uh, digital release because that's the Japanese telling me what the Japanese did. You know, that's not like some fan-built website taking an educated guess. Hello, Mrs. Elfman. Thanks for joining the stream. Very dangerous around here. <laughs> ah, I can't believe that guy didn't kill me. I thought I was gone for sure. There we go. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining the stream at all. I appreciate it.
I let the uh, the attract mode play for a bit and found out something about gameplay that I didn't know before. And that's that you can uh, move in one direction and shoot in another, just like Robotron, which is drastically improving my gameplay. I mean, I think it is at least. We'll see if I beat my uh, my score from yesterday. <laughs> Can't get these guys. And here's another bonus level. Like I said before, you can die in the bonus levels. Ah, like that. <laughs> me in a tight spot, man. But yeah, you know, uh, I wouldn't mind getting a uh, uh, arcade stick for PS4. Because, you know, I, I plan on doing the arcade archives thing indefinitely. It's kind of my M.O. Spot. Oh my god. This is not gonna end well. Ah. <laughs> Had me up in that corner. Unfortunately, there's no, like, bomb button. Like there is in a lot of games. Oh god. I was right in the middle of all those bullets. Uh, but yeah, I was saying there's no, like, screen clearing bomb button, which, uh, you kind of see in a lot of games like this, but not in this one. Movement patterns and trying to uh, to stay clear of of the AI and you know po you know ship positioning and stuff. That's what this one's all about. All right, this one they try to box you in right from the start. God, this guy came out early. Nothing I could do there. Mm, I think, that, yeah, this is my last ship. Usually that, like, boss ship comes out uh, a little later on, but that time he came out early. Okay, so we're at a uh, another... I think this is... No, this, this doesn't look like a bonus level to me. I thought this was a bonus level at first because of the color scheme, but this is just another level. A hard one at that. Oh my god. Gotta rapid fire that guy. I haven't been uh, rapid firing because I was kind of struggling.